difficult um, finish to the campaign at home last weekend against Oxford. How important is a good finish on the road this weekend if you can possibly can at Cambridge? You know, we go into every game with the same mindset to get three points, to try and get three points at least. So for me personally, it doesn't change. The process objective doesn't really change for me. Uh, going to the game, given 100%. Actually, I guess you've got to have that mentality because of the run that you've been on. If you didn't have that mentality, it'd be really, really difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah, you've got to try and be positive. Obviously, it's been a very difficult season, but um, you've just got to try and take lessons out of it and hopefully we can take these lessons and have a better season next season. And what have been the lessons, do you feel, that you've learned? Well, personally for me, I've learned a lot about my game and um, how to deal with um, certain things, but... Uh, I can only speak for myself really, um, everyone takes different lessons so hopefully the boys have um, reflected on the season and we can go again next season. Four starts and 12 sub appearances since you came in in January, how happy have you been with that because all right, the starts have come more recently so that's heading in the right direction isn't it? No definitely, when I came here that was one of my objective objectives to um, get more starts, get more playing time, and um, it just shows I've progressed. I guess the one thing that you do need is the goal to go with it. Um, it's not like you've actually had that many chances though, is it? No, I haven't, but um, obviously that's what I go into every game trying to do, score goals. So um, I'm obviously very frustrated it hasn't come yet, but I go into every game believing, so it'll come eventually. Forest Green have obviously had this way of playing almost 4-2-4 at times with the most attacking players out wide and so therefore you know it, it's, a, it's a kind of a, a, a difficult system I guess at times to fit into. How do you feel you fit best or where do you feel you fit best within that? Well, I like to see myself as a centre forward, but um, at the end of the day, with the way we play with the wingers, um, essentially we're the highest men on the pitch at times, so it doesn't really change my objective in games. Um, yeah. And obviously, you know, there's that ability for the wingers to cut inside as well and to get some shots away, and I guess that's kind of one of the routes where maybe you can get a bit of joy coming in off a flank. Yeah, um, I like coming off the left flank, cutting in, taking shots, beating players. So I can express myself in that position, but obviously um, we haven't done the business this season, so next season hopefully it's a bit better. How much does it help actually having Duncan Ferguson as your head coach being a former centre forward? I mean, I guess you know there aren't too many strikers like him. Although you know his, his son's obviously been on trial, and I guess he's kind of um, you know sort of carved out of the same rock, isn't he? Yeah, um, it was uh, great news when I heard he was coming. Um, there aren't many better managers that could have come in for me to learn off. So it's been fantastic, and he's taken me on his wing. So it's been great. And I guess, you know, one of the things is you, you know, you're still only 20, so you're still making your way in the game. It's adapting to that physicality. And that's something that, you know, he's very keen that players, you know, for want of a better phrase, man up. Yeah, um, I'm still in my early years of my career, but um, I am gaining that experience. Um, you know, it's obviously a different ball game with the physicality, etc. But I'm definitely adjusting to it. Cambridge, obviously, have still got... Uh, their survival to secure, um, so they could be very edgy on Sunday. How do you do you view the occasion and, and the opposition? To be honest, um, we're in a similar situation as Oxford last season. They had something to play for. So, but for us personally, it doesn't really change what we're trying to do. Um, at the moment, we're playing for pride. So, every game matters as much as when we were fighting for survival. Part of that plan for Pride, I guess it can't be nice when other teams secure their safety against you. Cheltenham did it and Oxford have done it. If you can avoid Cambridge doing it, how much does that just sort of show how you've kept going on until the end of the season? Yeah, obviously, like it's our um, it's our profession, so uh, it wouldn't be very professional if we didn't if we ever gave below 100%, which is um, obviously I do get what you're saying, but. Um, I can only speak for myself and I have the same mindset going to any game, whether it were the Champions League final or the last game in League One, 
like it's just it doesn't really make a difference to me. I gave it 100 percent And you've mentioned next season a few times already. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the break will allow um, some changes to the squad, but how much are you looking forward to being a part of next season and getting a full pre-season under your belt and sort of Forest Green having regrouped re 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 going again? Yeah, I'm very optimistic. Um, I have great confidence that it will be a good season, uh, but it's important to you know take a little mental break, a little physical break, and come back recharged and ready to go.